Hi everyone, it's Joe Dibley coming to you from beautiful Blue Sky Canada. I'm the best-selling author of Frock Off Living Undisguised and I help people reclaim their life to find the joy, the success that maybe somehow along the way we've just lost it. It's not that uncommon unfortunately. You know, the truth is we all have an imagined life, or as I like to say, a frockish, a frockalicious life that we dreamed of having one day. And we're all entitled to that, you know, we all deserve that. Have you ever found yourself struggling and wondering, how the heck did I get here? What happened? You know, when I was younger, this isn't the life I dreamed of. It happens to all of us, and I can definitely relate. When I was younger, I was born into a family that had tremendous challenges. And I had seen a lot of tragedy in my young years. In fact, so much so that at one point social services stepped in to try and help me, to give me a respite, if you will, for a weekend away from my parents at what was deemed to be a very good foster home. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And, you know, nothing happened that weekend, but I was called back to babysit. And sadly, that man, the foster parent, foster father, assaulted me. I didn't tell anyone for a number of months because he had convinced me that, number one, he would murder me, two, he would hurt those I loved, and three, no one would believe me anyway. And by the time I did tell the authorities, he was pretty much right. He, no one did believe me. They thought I was making it up, that I was attention-seeking. And it did derail me. I certainly, you know, I certainly wasn't able to live the life I had ever dreamed, and no matter what, I had my own specific dream, even before all of that had happened. Basically, I went silent. I had no voice, really. Uh, three years later, they knocked at the door, and I had had a beautiful baby girl at that point, and they told me they believed me now. Unfortunately, them believing me meant something had to have happened, and sadly, he went on to murder this little girl, Susan Duff. She was taken when she was 12 years old, and it did, in fact, derail me. They asked me if that, at that time if I would be willing to be a witness in the murder investigation for them. And for the next 35 years, I spent my life living in fear and hiding. In fact, so much so, I have moved 49 times in 52 years. It certainly wasn't the life I had imagined. But this happens to us all, doesn't it? You know, whether it's a divorce or a change in career, we just get derailed. We, d we aren't living the life we dreamed of. We're certainly not living what, as, as I, what I said, or as I said, a frockalicious life. What happens is we're just getting by maybe. You know, maybe you're watching this today and you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and you're questioning like, how on earth did I get here? What happened? You know, I've done years and years of research because I always knew there had to be a better way. I knew that somewhere along the line, there had to be a way to live the life that we so richly deserve, we imagined and we dreamed of, because that is how we really impact the world with our presence and how we can give back to be the change we seek in the world. You know, after working with thousands of women and doing all this research, I wrote my book, Frock Off Living Undisguised, with a self-help guide to help people do just that. And then I started to notice that there was still something lacking. I wasn't really sure, and so I created, I created events to help people reclaim their life. You know, the old way of thinking was, what happened to you in the past to find who you are? Well, that's ridiculous. Even Eckhart Tolle, who talks about how you do one thing is how you do everything, but he's not talking about how you do one thing is how you do everything in the past. He's talking about today, now, being present in your life and showing the world what you're really made of. You see, today, people want to work with, live with, love with, enjoy everything with people that are real. You don't need to be perfect because, by the way, you're perfect in your imperfectness. That's what's what we want today. That's what the world is looking for. Globally, people are looking for people that are real and authentic. And what I've noticed, as I said over the years, is that I too had much, I had a lot of company, people themselves, coming off, you know, being derailed from their perfect life they had imagined. So what I have done is I've created, as I said, events um, and tools to help you regain that. But for now, I just wanted to stop by and say hi and tell you a little bit about that. And if you've enjoyed this video today and if you'd like to learn more about how you too can claim your Frockalicious life, come on over to us on our website. Join us on Facebook at Frock Off Living Undisguised and chime in, join the conversation.
Be part of that change and start enjoying your life. Start moving towards your own Frockalicious life. And in the interim, I just want you to notice how you're feeling when you're thinking about what does that life look like? What does joy and success and freedom and, and abundance of love look like for you? So for now, if you've enjoyed this video, click here right now and share. And please, we'll see you again. But until then, please know this. You matter. Your voice counts. And we can't wait to have you on the same journey. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.